braising. Six months a year, all I want to do is eat braised food, meals in a bowl. First thing you want to do is you want to cut this in strips, and then we're just going to cut it in cubes. My rule of thumb is that I want to be able to bite it. We'll add our garlic. I have some meat that we cut to get ready for this. We'll throw that in there. Wine, classic Dobe Provençal made with red wine, which is just a fancy French word for a type of stew. Next thing we want to do is we want to put our bouquet garni. We've got some thyme, bay leaf, parsley. You can just roll that together and you just put that in there. This goes into the refrigerator for 24 hours or into a Ziploc bag. Occlude the air by squeezing it, seal it, and let it sit for 24 hours. When you come back the next day and get ready to cook, all we did was poured what was in that bowl through this sieve, collected the wine, and you can see how the color has changed because all those meat juices are in there. Next thing that we want to do, put our meat on our cutting board. I season that pretty aggressively with salt, pretty aggressively with pepper. I've preheated a very thick enameled casserole on my stove. And a couple of handfuls at a time. Please don't overcrowd your cooking surface. It's not gonna cook properly. What we're looking for is to brown this meat so we get that crusty Maillard reaction. So they're nicely browned. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna caramelize our onions. And you can see all the little sticky bits, the fond in the bottom of that pan. That looks beautiful. Don't need to scoop any fat out. When you're caramelizing onions, remember if you wanna pull some water out of them, sprinkle some salt on them. Those onions have browned enough. They're glassy, they're sweet. They've taken on a little more color. So my cooked beef and the juices go back in, as does that herb bundle and the wine. Now this wine, remember, is cloudy because it has all those beef juices in that. Our wine's reduced by about half. We're at a few cups of stock. So make sure that once you've added your stock, this comes to a nice moving boil so it keeps cooking when it goes into the oven. This is a nice sturdy boil. Let's go to the oven. So this has been in the oven for about 90 minutes, so it's time to add some of our seasonings and vegetables for the final cook. We'll add our fennel, our carrots, our potatoes, a little salt there. I'm just gonna bring it to a little bit of a boil. All right, back to the oven. All right, red wine vinegar, tablespoon of Dijon. Our bouquet garni has served its purpose. A little bit of salt. A little bit more pepper. And I'm gonna let this simmer for another minute or so. And I have these beautiful herbs here. A little fresh dill and parsley. I'm gonna stir that in once the heat has been turned off. We are not making beef with gravy. We're making a Dobe Provençal. This is one of those, you know, wintertime stunners that's good 12 months a year, right? Simple, easy. Delicious. 